has one of the most famous musicians in the world. But Ed Sheeran considered packing it all in after he became a dad, to focus on raising his daughter, Lyra, 11 months, who he shares with wife Cherry Seaborn, 29. The singer, 30, who has sold over 150 million records, said after his little girl was born he thought, I'm just going to be a dad, I'm not going to play music anymore. Luckily, the Bad Habits hitmaker changed his mind and decided it was for the best for him and his family that he continue making music. Speaking to Sirius XM he said, In my year off, I was kind of searching for who I was because I stopped playing music for a bit. And music is entirely me as a person. And then I had my daughter, well, my wife had our daughter, but I'm a parent. And then I was like, that's it, this is me, I'm just going to be a dad, I'm not going to play music anymore. However after taking some time away from the music, Ed explained that he realized it was more important for Lyra to grow up knowing her parents love working hard. The star continued, I think it's more important for my daughter to grow up knowing that her parents have the work ethic and love creating and enjoy their jobs and seeing that rather than like looking at your dad as technically unemployed. Getting back into the swing of writing wasn't easy though, and Ed added, there was a long period of time where I just didn't really know. Everything was directionless. The star continued to say he doesn't think his success should be measured in ticket and album sales but on how good his songs are. It comes after Ed revealed Lyra was born to the soundtrack of James Blunt's Back to Bedlam album. The father of one confirmed he and his spouse share a special bond with the You're Beautiful hitmaker, 47, and his wife Sophia Wellesley, after knowing them for years. And Ed, with the permission of his other half, shared the touching story of how they played James' 2004 album in the delivery room as they awaited the arrival of their first child in September. While co-hosting BBC Radio 2 in June with Joe Wiley, Ed shared, I actually asked Cherry if it was okay to talk about because it's such a personal moment. You said what was on the playlist for Liar's Birth. We both were big fans of James growing up and I've been friends with him for a few years. He came on tour with us and Cherry got really close with his wife and we are now very good family friends. And we find it quite weird because we love his music so much. We put on Back to Bedlam in the delivery room and the album finished as Lyra was being delivered. Another song that is close to the Grammy winner's heart is James' 2019 ballad, The Greatest, which is dedicated to his two sons, the eldest of whom Ed is godfather to. Ed's radio appearance comes just weeks after the singer was forced to correct a presenter on the UK's one show after she made several errors about his career in an awkward interview. He sat down with presenters Alex Jones, and Ronan Keating, both 44, where he corrected the female presenter when she claimed he had 8 million people attend his tour, when in fact it was 9 million. Alex began the interview by presenting Ed with a series of statistics about his career, which she described as pretty off the scale. Apparently you were artist of the decade last year, yeah? She said. The hitmaker replied, er, yeah, yeah in England, well in the UK. To his comment, Alex told him don't play it down before continuing, the most attended tour, apparently 8 million people came to see you on tour. Again, Ed cut across Alex and said with a smile, 9, but. 
Ronan could also be heard in the background providing the correct figure.